Since the dawn of the age of information, it feels as if humanity has been at a constant rate of breakthrough and discovery since the beginning of the 21st century. This means that every year we see new and exciting technologies and scientific breakthroughs make the front pages all across the world. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five recent scientific breakthroughs that will absolutely blow your mind and make you question everything we all thought we once knew about science and discovery. Reverse Treatment for Alzheimer's In a recent video, we discussed the statistical analysis of the possibility of scientific groups soon emerging with treatments for the mental disease of Alzheimer's and how it could theoretically be used to not only prevent the onset of Alzheimer's in patients, but also be used to help repair damaged neurons and mental connections. Fortunately, it turns out this prediction was more than accurate as in recent weeks, it has emerged that a new form of treatment to assist with the treatment of Alzheimer's has come through that could potentially even reverse the negative degenerative effects on the brain the disease inflicts on neural pathways. A research team located at the Cleveland Clinic Lerner Research Institute discovered that by depleting an enzyme known as BACE1, this could help to prevent the formation of amyloid plaques that form as clumps and destroy the connections between nerve cells. When using this information in tests with mice affected with the Alzheimer's disease, the researchers found that not only did it help to prevent the degradation of the neurons in the brain, but it even helped to improve memory and learning within the mice. Pairing this up with a new study coming from a team of researchers located at the Gladstone Institute in San Francisco that found that they could restore significant amounts of brain function in mice affected with the Alzheimer's disease by transplanting neurons with re-engineered inhibitory interneurons. This could mean the complete eradication of the neural degenerative disease entirely. Interestingly enough, we believe that it will only take another 15 years before these findings make their way into the mainstream treatment for Alzheimer's patients today and will help to change the lives of many afflicted with the disease all across the world. The Universal Donor Blood Breakthrough as many people are already aware, the nature of different blood types makes it a difficult problem faced by modern medicine facilities that need to ensure the right blood type are given to certain people as to prevent an immune response and the rejection of the new blood introduced. This leaves only one blood type, known as O, to be used as the basis of a universal donor blood type that can be accepted by all blood types in the world. Unsurprisingly, O blood type is incredibly rare and leaves many of that specific blood type out of donors when they are faced with issues of blood loss and blood transfusions. Fortunately enough, it appears that a recent scientific breakthrough might help research scientists to convert all blood type into the universal donor variation that can be used to help combat blood transfusion issues seen today. This revolutionary breakthrough came from researchers from the University of British Columbia that believe they have discovered a new enzyme from the human gut that can help convert type A and type B blood types into a type O blood. This is done by using the enzymes to help break down the sugars attached to red blood cells that help the body to distinguish between different blood types to then be allowed to be accepted as a universal donor blood type. There were previously discovered practices that could perform this task, though they were believed to be terribly inefficient. This new practice is believed to be more than 30 times more efficient than previously discovered methods and will see practical clinical trials in the coming years. This could mean that in the next five years, this technology could be used to help make all blood types into universal donors and help to solve the chronic blood supply shortage seen all across the world. 3D printed transplanted organs. Although the technique has been in practice for quite some time, 3D transplanted organs have been making strides in the field of organ development and seen in potential use for people of all kinds all across the world for different reasons. We have already seen human hearts grown in labs and being built via the use of stem cells and structures built from 3D printed skeletons, but it appears that with recent breakthroughs, the process will become more accessible to the public in the coming years. 
Developing their work on the years of previous research into the field, a team of research scientists from the Imperial College London and the King's College London have worked around the clock to create new techniques for printing 3D structures to be used for human organs and tissues. They rely on the use of cryogenics to create structures that can mimic the mechanical properties of brain and lung tissue to be used to help repair damaged tissues without risk of rejection from donors and transplants. This could potentially help to solve modern-day medicine issues such as that of transplant rejection, organ and tissue shortages, and perhaps, in the near future, total blindness in a patient since birth. The potential to help repair and replace any damaged organs in the body excluding that of the human brain without the expense of an organ donor could mean the overall life expectancy of human beings going well past triple digits and perhaps even longer than 150 years. This could mean that a person could theoretically live for hundreds of years longer than ever previously expected and still be in good shape with the addition of transplants and tissue repair. Turning blood cells into brain cells. As we have covered in the past in many other prediction videos surrounding scientific breakthroughs that would soon come in no time at all, one of the biggest topics we have covered in the past is that of the CRISPR gene editing and what it could do for the future of humanity. It appears that once again, Unexplained Mysteries has been at the forefront of these predictions and made accurate claims about the study of the gene editing practices as it appears that the CRISPR gene editing techniques are hitting clinical trials and have already shown startlingly promising results. For the first time in history, scientists have been able to change human blood cells into a form of neural stem cell that can be grown in a lab and multiplied indefinitely with the modification of CRISPR gene editing. The cells have been referred to as induced neural plate border stem cells and are seen as similar to those seen during embryonic development of the fetus still growing in the womb. This calls the cells to be used as a repair tool for neural damage and can be bound to existing neural pathways to strengthen bonds and repair damage made by neurodegenerative disease or direct trauma caused by accidents. The first attempts at this research was performed by a group of research scientists based out of a German cancer research centre and the Stem Cell Institute known as High Stem, located in Heidelberg. This could very well mean that soon humans will no longer have to worry about neurodegenerative diseases in old age and that we could maintain our minds and memories well past we ever expected to. Given the fact that the brain is the only organ incapable of being transplanted, this could help to extend the life of a human being well past 100 years of age and perhaps even further. The CRISPR gene advancements. Although you might be more than tired of hearing of the advancements of CRISPR gene editing techniques, it has helped to lead to revolutionary new scientific breakthroughs that we previously never believed would be possible within our lifetime. Recently, a Chinese scientist known as He Zhang Qiu announced in November of last year that he had helped to create the world's first ever gene edited twin girls. Although many might be worried about the prospects of these gene editing techniques and the creation of gene edited children, studies show that the twin girls that were modified with CRISPR gene editing techniques were completely immune to HIV naturally. Although the prospect of normalizing babies created through genetic modification could lead to incredible advancements in the evolution and change seen in humans worldwide, Many research scientists are left arguing over the ethical concerns of such changes and what it could mean for others. The dangers posed to those first performing these trials could lead to a rapid mortality rate in patients or even the potential abuse of military practices to create dominant super soldiers in the field. An uneven genetic playing field could also help to promote ideas of gene discrimination as well as potentially be a catalyst to forced changes required through populations facing genetic deficiencies. Despite these concerns, it appears that scientists will still continue working in the field of gene editing as even the Philippines have begun a privately funded effort to further expand in the field of CRISPR gene editing that many believe are working hand in hand with the United States military.
But what do you all think of these recent scientific breakthroughs and what they could mean for the future of humanity? Are there any concerns about the ethical reasoning of the matter or possible terrors that could result from these breakthroughs? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below and be sure to share your answers and questions about the video. Hopefully, as we continue to grow our community, we will one day be able to solve these unexplainable mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.